There is growing anger in parts of Pictou County tonight as word spreads about a website featuring nude photos of local women. Women say the images were taken while they were in private relationships and the pictures are being shared without their consent. As you can imagine, many feel betrayed, shocked, deeply disturbed. CTV's Dan McIntosh has our exclusive lead story tonight. We're calling this young woman Andrea to protect her privacy. She hasn't lived in Pictou County for years, but recently an embarrassing part of her past came back to haunt her. And it was one of my friends and they told me that I was on this website and they sent me the link to it. And then I went on and I see myself. Nude images of Andrea and dozens of other Pictou County women have been turning up on a pornographic website. There's even a map to show which towns the women are from. Most, if not all, appear to have been taken when the women were in a personal relationship with someone, just like Andrea. Me and my ex-boyfriend took the images and he posted them on the internet. That was, they're like three years old. No, I trusted him because we were in a, a long relationship, so I trusted that he wouldn't do that, but he did. I'm pretty frustrated, a little bit scared because now those images are now out everywhere for everybody to see. What makes the website even more disturbing, visitors have been asking each other for nude photos of other local women to share on the site. Katie Stanley found out requests were being made for photos of her. So it's like sharing it as perverted prizes, like here's what I have, what do you guys have? I think it's awful. Obviously I just like to see it shut down, I just, I, I feel like violating women in such a way is obviously wrong and it, it, it should be shut down. For her part, Andrea has this advice for other women. If you are going to take those kind of pictures, make sure it's private and locked and not shared. Um, and if you are one of those women, come up and speak out so that we can change it and hopefully get the website deleted. Meanwhile, police are investigating under Section 162.1 of the Criminal Code. It's a new section that covers the publication of an intimate image without consent. Meanwhile, the Child Exploitation Unit is also investigating to determine if any of the images belong to a younger person. Bruce? All right, thank you, Dan. CTV's Dan McIntosh reporting tonight.